Hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Pray that you're having a great day. And you know, it's that time of the week when we send out our monthly, uh, weekly, weekly reminders, inviting you to service and to just give you a tidbit, a, a, a word from the Lord, a golden nugget, just something to let you know that we love you. We're praying for you to the members and those who attend our Bible study. It's an invitation to come out and study the word of the Lord. I really don't know where to start. God is so good. He's doing so many marvelous things. These are, these are wonderful days. The God of the Bible is in charge, and we are in the early, early, early stages of 2020. And we are walking in the, the theme that God has given us for the year at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, which is God's truth. Our Lord said, as I mentioned last week, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And my friends, the truth of God's word is, the truth is the Bible. Amen. And if you want to know the God of the Bible, you want to know what he's thinking. You, you want to know uh, what he says. You want to know his positions on things. You want to know his opinion. You want to know his likes and his dislikes. You want to know his thoughts. Read the Bible. Study the Bible. I challenge you to study scripture more this year than you ever have. And also, I challenge you to be faithful. Let's start the year off right. Let's start the year off on a good foot. You know, people are making resolutions. They're joining gyms. They're, they're uh, getting on uh, uh, diet plans. Uh, they're calling this diet guru and that diet guru. As a matter of fact, a funny thing is there are more diet plans and uh, things like that out in the world today than at any time in human history. And there are more obese people. So what is it saying? These things aren't working. But I'll tell you what works. Every time it's tried, the word of God, it will never fail you. And tonight, I am so excited about uh, uh, the things that we're going to teach tonight. You know, I, one of the things I want you to do is, is, is pray for me during these times. I'm tempted more and more and more to tell you what I want to talk about tonight. But uh, I think I'll hold this. I will say this. We're studying God's truth, and the truth of God is going to bless you real good. I'll just let this out. There, there is a, a glory. There is a, a divine glory uh, that, that the God of the Bible has. That, there's a glory that the Lord has for you. There's a glory that the Lord has for me. There is the glory of deity, and we want to connect with the God of the Bible and allow his glory, his power, his favor, his anointing to be on our lives. And this glory separates the believer from the non-believer. And it causes us to think a certain kind of way, to act a certain kind of way, to live a certain kind of way. And that acting, living, and thinking, that certain kind of way is the way of holiness. So I want you to come out tonight. Join me. We're not going to have a concert. Nope. There is no carnival. Mm -mm. There is no flashing lights, no glitter, uh, none of those things. Uh, no, uh, nothing will fall from the sky uh, as ticker tape, uh, what I'm thinking about. None of that. What are we going to do tonight, preacher? We're going to pray. We're going to have a little praise and worship and Somebody's going to testify, and then we're going to study the Bible. That's what we're going to do. I'm not handing out candy. I'm not giving away raffle tickets. Uh-uh, none of that. We, we don't serve coffee at the door. No donuts. No donuts. I'm telling you, eat dinner at home or go out and eat after service. We're going to study the word of the Lord. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Amen. God bless you.